So I'm uh, on my way from Amman to Jordan River and uh, I'm right now in Al Gore. Uh, it's um, area in Jordan Valley, it's desert. We are in the sea level and this is road for Dead Sea and for Jordan River. Okay, I almost arrived and um, it's this way, Bethany beyond the Jordan. I just arrived to the gate of baptism site and then we are waiting for shuttle bus to go. Jesus uh, was baptized by John the Jordan River. The first stop will be uh, overlooking Elijah's hill, the little hill of Saint Elijah, where Elijah ascended up to heaven and a chariot of fire. Archaeological site, which was discovered in 1996 after the peace agreement with Israel, uh, signed in 1994. Yeah, the city Jericho, my friends, is 13 kilometers away from here. This is the place where uh, Elijah uh, is What is this church? Yeah, uh, my friends, now on the right side you can see three different churches. Uh, the first uh, is the Coptic Egyptian church, the one in the middle is the Armenian Orthodox, and the third one is the Lutheran. Uh, yeah. So we are about to walk one hour. Uh, we pass the desert where uh, John, John the Baptist live and uh, eat honey. Um, this uh, desert is not connected to the Judean desert. The Judean desert is in uh, Palestinian uh, side, and uh, this desert is in the Jordanian side. This is the main course of the river. The Jordan River, the borderline of Palestine. The Dan crossing the river. Oh, we killed them. The Gondom is going to be our last stop on our tour. And that's the Greek order. So this is the border with uh, Palestine, the Jordan River. And that's the Greek Orthodox Church which appears on the other side in Palestine but still part of Jordan ah. because it's because on the eastern bank of the Jordan River. The ah, river okay, Jordan, my friends, is a sort of meandrous snake river. So it goes like a snake. It's coming from the north, goes from behind the church and then continues southwards. Mm -hmm. the yeah, no. So basically yeah, church is in Jordanian side. Yes. Since where, uh, you know, Jesus Christ was baptized by St. John the Baptist in the Jordan River, which used to come through here until the 12th century, and then started shifting naturally. Mm -hmm. It was moved away for, uh, for about 300 meters over the past thousand uh, years. That's the River Jordan, the current course of Jordan that we have already seen, which is borderline for the time. But uh, again, until the 12th century, the old River Jordan used to flow around here. Uh, directly on the eastern bank of that original course, at the same place where Jesus was baptized by John, we uncovered the remains of five successive churches built by the believers who wanted to commemorate the baptism of Jesus uh, Christ by building memorial uh, churches. Mm -hmm. And used by the pilgrims and the visitors who, who came from the whole Christian world on their pilgrims to the Holy Land. So this is where Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. And this is the uh, public facility which was used between the 5th and 12th centuries AD by the believers who were seeking the baptism in the same place where Jesus was baptized. And uh, this is known as the cruciform baptistry. And it was mentioned and described by the uh, pilgrims and visitors who came from the whole uh, Christian world. And, they, and the, where uh, they got baptized in the Jordan River that used to come through here. Around here, I mean from behind the wooden shooter and then continue southwards. Ah, that was the old river of Jordan until the 12th uh, century. And top of the four large piers from the cruciform baptistry, 
the public uh, facility that is the flowing water for the baptism people. There was a second church, church number two, known as the Mantle Church, uh, and it was built on the exact spot where Jesus took off his garments and sent it to the river to be baptized by John the Baptist. So this is the location of the second church, church number two, known as the Mantle Church, after the mantle of Jesus uh, Christ. And below this small church itself, my friends, we uncovered the means of the smallest worship house built at the baptism site, which was number five. The third, uh -huh. uh, yeah, uh, chapel, or the late small chapel which was built at the baptism site. So five successive churches uh, built between the 5th and 12th centuries AD by the believers, and they were all destroyed naturally, either by the floods or by the earthquakes. Yeah, okay. Only the first one was destroyed na naturally by an earthquake, while the others were all, uh, I mean, the four of them were destroyed by the angry annual flood of the Jordan River. Mm -hmm. Each of the five successive churches were, uh, was mentioned by one of the pilgrims or uh, the historians or the travelers who came to this site. And uh, the third important one is from the Bible itself, the New Testament of the Bible. The four Gospels where we have the passages and the verses. In the four Gospels we say clearly that the baptism of Jesus took place in Bethany beyond the Jordan or Bethabara. Bethabara or Bethany beyond the Jordan. So this is the side Bethany beyond the Jordan or Bethabara. Mentioned the New Testament of the Bible and was the place where Christianity began from. Where Jesus was baptized by John uh, the Baptist. Uh, the, the river uh, change her way naturally or uh, naturally. people do it? Naturally. Naturally? It shifted naturally to the west for about 300 meters. Uh -huh. yeah. But before it came from here and it go flow, here? It used to flow from behind the wooden structure, coming from the north and then went off southwards. So that was the old river of Jordan until the 12th uh, century. So this is the picture of baptism. We see the Holy Spirit, Jesus and John. The Baptist uh, baptized the Jesus. Mm -hmm. This was the third. This was the third uh, church, church number three. And the upper in front of us was the uh, fourth. Church number four. First, third, and the upper in front of us was uh, the fourth uh, church. Fourth. fourth. Second, down at the end of the marble staircase, four large piers, uh, baptistry. On top of the four, uh, on top of the, there was a second church, church number two, known as the Mantle Church. That was the second one. And below the small ship, there we have the uh, remains of the smallest worship house. The fifth one, number five. Second, So five churches. But and here also is the only original piece of mosaic that was in the church number four. Number four, the Holy Trinity Church. Uh, eighth century, early eighth century. They were not at the same time. Uh, no, they were built on top of each other. I mean, when one of them was destroyed, the believers built another. So always, uh, you know, was one the church, one single church. Okay. So first, uh, second, third, fourth, and the one below small shelter was the first. Five successes. Five. Ninety six. They started digging. So there was the five churches and now we are heading to the new baptism uh, site where the Jordan River changed her course and uh, now the pilgrims baptized there. This is the uh, Church of St. John the Baptist, newly mm -hmm. built uh, church in 2003. Newly built uh, church, St. John the Baptist. Uh, so it's sixth church yeah. in the top of these five. Yes. yes. We'll go inside the church for a couple of minutes and then...
husband and wife donated this um, mosaic to this church. This is something in Greece. And this is the Saint Reliquix of uh, one monk. This is Reliquix of one monk, unknown. And it's find under one of four churches. This is uh, Jordan River, and uh, Jesus Christ uh, baptized here. Now I get my T-shirt, and I will going to be baptized here again. <laughs> I was two months from the another side, and now from this side. So I'm ready for my baptism. I turned niqab to be like hijab. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on, this way, this way. Okay. Something eats me. In the name of Father and Son and Spirit. Amen. Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, like, comment down below what you like, what you don't like. This would be my next video and this is the video that YouTube recommends for you to watch. So stay tuned and see you! Bye!